So let's vlog. <sighs> I was not planning on doing that today, but it's just, I don't know, it's sunny and it's hot and it's my favorite kind of day. That's kind of fun. Warren is trying to push a bog out of the way. It's working. How's it working? It worked pretty good. Okay. And really cool is this. This is Peter's very first time I told him to get out kayaking. There. Look at you go. I told him to get out there and I was out there with Eska. Yeah. I told him he should get out there. You said get out there. Okay. Whoop, well, dad needs a spot to bring in the boat. Whoa, don't grab the kayak, bud. Eska. Eska Whoa. She's fine. She's not even in the way. Well, tell me about your first time out kayaking. It was good. What was the best? Um, probably almost tipping it. Almost tipping? Yeah. Look at you. You're just full of muscles. Watch how far I can swim out. Okay. There they go, everyone's pretty pumped. We're gonna get the brand new tube out today, which is exciting. Where did you get the new tube from? Fleet Farm, okay. Hi, Peter. He's liking the kayak, I think. Yeah, he's loving going in the kayak. That was, that was his first time. Cool. Amber, did you read on the box for these wings the story behind them? No. So a lady. Well, I heard they're the, like the copycat of the Instagram wings. Like they're no one. There's like a mural that's painted. Someplace in maybe Los Angeles, and yeah. then she's painted all over the world. Mm -hmm. She's painted these wings as kind of a symbol of, I don't know, freedom and hope, and I don't really know. But if you yeah. read the whole box, it kind of explains it. And now people go and. Get their pictures yeah, taken with them. Yes. Mom, it's a race to the finish. I think Peter's gonna end. Cool. Come on up here. Go, go, go. Run it in. Yeah. No, come, come on, on Joe. It's a race. Get in the middle. Yeah. It's a race. Come on, go as fast as you can. Come on the kayak with me. Yes, I will. You know what? I need to actually go and put on different sandals. I don't want my nice sandals on, so. So this wagon here was sent, just sent to me in the mail here the other day. This is from, I know it's an Amazon product. This is made by Timber Ridge is the brand, or at least that's what's on the side here. And I could not be happier with it. I had anticipated having to actually put it together but to my surprise, I open up the box and basically all you had to do is just take off the outer like carrying case and then undo one Velcro strap and then you just unfold it and it's ready to go. One of the things I like about it is that it has these really nice uh, little spots to put like sunscreen or bug spray and it's got some water bottle holders on the front which is really nice and so yeah, it's really coming in handy going down to the beach area. I especially like that there's this little spot where the handle can clip in so it's not hanging down on the ground and, you know, waiting to get tripped on or anything. So, yeah, really liking this. I'll put a link in the description box below. Just know that this is our first time using it. It does seem very heavy duty. I was sent this for free and, um, but I just thought I'd show you guys. We've been wanting one for BMX for a while and just really never bit the bullet. So that was kind of exciting when this showed up. All right, back to our fun yeah, afternoon. Fun! Fun! Yeah, it is. It's, it's so, okay, so, take the so sweet. The boat. the boat is so yeah. sweet. What <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
So Warren and I took a little ride in this baby this morning. That was fun. It's so hot we had to go early in the morning because, you know, no air conditioning. <laughs> so what do you call that when you roll the windows down? 260 air conditioning. Right. Roll down two windows, drive 60 miles an hour. That's exactly what we were doing. Mm -hmm. So that was this morning. And now look at that. Gonna bring out the tube. Oh, this looks nice. Okay. It actually has handles. I'll sit up here so I can see everything. I want to come. Yeah, I like the new stick. I want to come in. Oh. Yeah, I want to come in. The boat. All right, I'll take you in the boat. But I, I can't have too much. Okay, wait, I'm going to go. All right, we ain't going to go. Oh, okay. I think Peter worries less yeah, than Joe. Yeah, Peter's our daughter. Well, I think Let's Peter worries less than Joe. <laughs> Do you have a life vest, Amber? What? Oh, Sam doesn't have a life vest either. We can, can we go without a life vest? No. no. Absolutely not. Amber. Amber. Well, here is the maiden voyage with the new tube this year. Looks like they're having a good time. Eska is so upset, as you can hear. Here they come. Up. Joseph, come on in. All right, it looks like two people were just a little too heavy. We've got a 25 horse Honda. We were hoping that what would happen is that this one would have less, like, uh, you know, more surface area, and so there'd be less downward pressure. But um, yeah, I guess it didn't work real well with two people. No, it's too slow. Too slow? It looks like it's going a lot better with just one person. Oh gosh, Eska. Yeah. She wants her Amber, that's for sure. She wants her Amber. I'm getting you too. It looks nice. It looks very comfy. Why? Because you're in the water, so you Okay, the verdict with the new tube is that it is not the right shape. It's a circular shape and our old one that completely deteriorated was actually more of kind of a triangular shape and that seemed to pull really well with our boat because I think the boat is a, I think it is a 14 or a 16 foot Lund with a 25 horse Honda. So, you know, it doesn't have a ton of horsepower, but it does work well pulling the knee board, which Sam is on right now. And it always worked well with our triangular tube. So we're going to, I don't know if we're gonna try to return this one or we're gonna try to, or just use this as a floaty for out in the pond. But we're going to have to do a little online search because we could not find one locally that was the right shape. Ooh, those deer flies, they are biting. And Peter, he's in my floaty. Do you like it? Yeah! It's super cool. I think that they got this at Walmart. 
this was a birthday present for me and uh, I was just floating around. Oh, it's just totally fun. A floating shell. Huh, must be empty, huh? All right, so Sam, he is quite the performer always. Let's see what he's gonna do for us this time. Let's see, what is he gonna do? something I can't really tell. Oh, you better get it. swim day is all done and we're finally getting not the heat that we've it. been or at least not that I've been wanting and not all of it, it was not nice all of what today, it was hot. of the swimming of the water part we still have fishing oh we are still going fishing Can I? Those that want to. Oh, okay yeah yes, so me. so we're just we're gonna head to a little restaurant it's actually a drive-in and so we're just going to take these juice boxes. This is one of those little ways that as a big family we save a few dollars when we go out to eat. <laughs> I can already tell this should be messy. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's going to be messy. Don't video this. <laughs> So we're back home from that little lunch out, which was such a treat on a day like today. But um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm still using uh, my Tiger Bloom. I think I showed you guys this last year. This is just a great, great fertilizer. I usually just, in this one I only have a half a gallon of water because I don't have much fertilizer left. That was it right there. So typically I put about a tablespoon of the tiger bloom in with just one jug of water and then I just water my flowers now I think that this tiger bloom uh, you need to go wash your face okay first and then you need to unload the dishwasher and then you can go on the dirt bike yes I think I was just watering this here and um, this is how well these are doing. I, if I can find some pictures, I'll slip a picture in of the before of this here, and maybe even this one I might have a before of. But these were just, you know, like your little four and six packs. That's what these all started as, and now everything is just big. I mean, it's totally filled in the pot. Everything is looking so pretty. And um, yeah, I'm just loving it. So I just ordered another jug of tiger bloom it is like 50 i can't remember if it was 53 or 57 dollars for a jug for a gallon size jug but it does last a long long time now i didn't get very far with that today but everything else i'll just have to get regular water i guess here's another one of those pots that this was just i think like a four pack. I think I just have four or I might only have three of the petunias in here with one Dusty Miller and I do have one little hiding marigold in there which is not getting very big but um, it's still doing well so I'm hoping that I'm still gonna have some yellow in here soon but loving this it's just really 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 just taking over so that tiger bloom is really really making things come alive. And I definitely have to show you guys this begonia here because I'm feeling a little bit like an expert in begonias because this is the first year that I've actually gotten one to grow and get taller. Usually they just sort of die off and I found out this. They don't like a ton of fertilizer and they also don't like a lot of water. So this one happens to be in the shade most of the day. Um, and it's doing really, really well. I just cannot believe how well it's doing. 
but if I walk over here, this one here is in the sun for a, a good portion of the day. And this one is also just doing really well. It has beautiful glossy leaves and everything. So this one's doing well too. But I've just been finding that it does not like a ton of fertilizer. So what I've been doing, and I, I'm sure that this is not... And there's nothing scientific about this, but what I do is I fertilize from this side because I noticed that the marigolds and uh, lobelia, I think this is, they can take a lot more fertilizer than this one. So I figure if I fertilize from this side, then they'll kind of suck up most of the fertilizer water before it gets over here because these don't like a lot of water and they also don't like a lot of fertilizer. So anyway, maybe I just got good stock this year. I don't know. But this is the very first year ever that my begonias are doing anything at all. So, tickled about that one. So the fun never stops here. Sam and I are heading into Goodwill. He is, well, I'm hoping that we find some shorts and a couple tank tops for him. He's probably hoping that we don't so we can go to another store and buy something brand new. But anyway, that's what's going on here. Nice. Oh yeah. Just your style. Even has a little pocket. I know, Even for better. what? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we got going on here at Goodwill? What the heck? Ooh, that looks nasty. Oh, Dad Superman! You always say Dad Superman. There you go. Nah. I don't think Dad's gonna wear that. <laughs> I don't think he'd want that. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. He is my is Superman, though. Is that another one? <gasps> oh, they got. You guys could get matching no, ones. No, no, I'm not matching that. Wouldn't that be well, something? I would make it look cool. What about this blue one here? Here's a blue something tank. I don't know what that is. Nike. Uh, that oh, looks giants. like girls. Nope. nope, it's New York. I got just a little bit of battery left. So, all right, that is going to round out the night. We were able to get Sam some shorts, and Goodwill actually did come through, and it was cheaper there. You know, you never know, because sometimes Goodwill prices are kind of crazy. But we are heading off to the truck here. My battery's going to die, like you guys heard. And I think that was a fun day. Yeah. <laughs> That's it? Yeah? I'm tired. Okay. Like See you later. That was great hanging out with you guys for the day. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.